sunrise. This is a special morning of the coast of Palau. Under the cover of the night, fish have been gathering on the edge of the reef. By the time the sun appears over the horizon, they number in the thousands. These are red snappers, and they are here to spawn. At certain times of the year, when the moon face is right, they gather in the specific areas of the reef with the sole purpose of reproduction. The rise to shallow waters signals that the main event will soon begin. Their readiness is apparent in color changes. A large, clear band appears on the sides of some. It is not yet known whether this coloration is shown by males or females, or by both, but soon after the activity increases and the spawning begins. The spawning period is brief, it lasts only a few minutes. Males must hurry to find a mate in a very short window of time. Then they must compete with dozens of other contenders for the best position to fertilize the eggs released by the female. Massive volumes of eggs and milk are released into the ocean with the hopes of being fertilized. But the dangers to their survival appear even before conception. These are black snappers, and they have come here in great numbers to feed on the eggs and milk. Hundreds of them insistently follow the spawning groups, gorging greedily on the precious charge released by the red snappers. Short as these events might be, they are crucial to the survival of the red snapper, representing the only times when these fish are able to reproduce. Spawning aggregations of fish like this form at very special places throughout the world's reefs. These events are so rare, so unique, that we're only beginning to understand and appreciate the importance they have for the health of the reefs and the fisheries they support. Therefore, it is of utmost importance to study and protect those spawning aggregations so they can continue long into the future. <laughs>